Hi, welcome to India Food Network. You're watching Veggie World with me, Arina. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a great Gujarati style curry. So, if you want to know how to make it, keep watching. Let's see what we need to make curry. Half a small white radish cut into chunks. Half a cup of yogurt or dahi. Half a cup of water. 1 to 2 tablespoons of chane ka atta. 2 teaspoons of ginger and green chilli paste. Salt to taste. And for the tempering, half a green chilli and a handful of curry leaves. 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds. Half an inch of a cinnamon stick. 2 boria mirch and a couple of cloves, ghee, coriander leaves for garnish, 1 teaspoon of jeera, 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder and 1 teaspoon of methi or fenugreek seeds. In a deep vessel, we will take the dahi, add the water and just give it a mix. You need to beat it well so that there are no lumps of the dahi. This is pretty much similar to making a chas. Once there are no bigger lumps, we will just add half of the chane ka atta first to start with, like about 1 tablespoon and mix it well. Again make sure you just target all the lumps. So once you beat it well and the flour has kind of dissolved well inside, you just put on the gas. We'll add the green chilli and ginger paste and the radish and salt. And just let this come to a boil for it to thicken a bit. If you feel it's not thick enough and it's still very watery, then you add the remaining of the chane ka atta. Once it comes to a light boil, we'll just lower the flame and let it simmer till it thickens slightly. Now that you see it's slightly thickened, so we'll just Transfer it to the serving bowl and prepare the tempering. In the tempering pan, we will take a little ghee, add the mustard seeds, the fenugreek and methi seeds, jeera, the green chilli and curry leaves, the boria milch, cinnamon stick and cloves. Once that all starts crackling, just put off the flame, quickly put the red chilli powder and pour it on the curry. And finally we will just add chopped coriander leaves. So here it is, curry is ready. It goes great with pulao, with dry khichdi or even roti and bindi ki sabzi. If you like this recipe and would like to learn more, subscribe to India Food Network. If you have any feedback, please do write in to us. Till then, keep watching.